Hey, welcome back to another episode of Monday Morning Mojo. I'm excited that you could join me for this conversation today because I think it's going to help a lot of you understand something that is always a constant in our lives. And I know some of us are more comfortable with it than some, and that topic is change. I want to help some of you navigate change and understand more about the concept of change and what it actually means for us. And I'm going to give you a quote because I believe this quote is, is powerful. It's by Viktor Frankl. And the quote is, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. So I love this quote because it also reminds us that there are a lot of things that happen in life that are out of our control and that one of the only things that we really can control is ourself. We can control what we think, we can control what we say and do and how we respond to things. And the world that we live in is ever changing. Change can bring growth. With change, there is uh, opportunity. It's really understanding that change is an inevitable part of life and that it can bring some fear or doubt along with it. So whether it's a career shift, whether it's something happening in our personal life, whether it's an organizational change within our company, whether it's navigating changes in relationships, or even just something around a season or a period of time, we have to understand that when we have the right mindset, we can develop the right strategies so that those challenges that might come with change we're better equipped and we can actually handle that change so that we feel transformed and that those changes create opportunity. Now, as I said, I understand that for some of us, change is easy or easier. And for others, it can really bring on some feelings of fear or anxiety. So I want to acknowledge that. And I want to say that if you are feeling that something in your life changing, it brings, it, it makes you feel unsettled, you're not alone. I think one of the most significant challenges is fear of the unknown, because that uncertainty can lead us to more anxiety and stress. And that just helps to make the situation a little bit more challenging because we feel like we can't embrace the change. So the fear that you're experiencing is because you're probably feeling some loss of control. And that's normal because if you're in a situation that is changing, then there are a lot of moving parts and a lot of things that you have to now either learn or unlearn and, and things are developing rapidly. And with that can also come a loss of stability or a change in your routine. And so when that happens, when change causes disruption, we feel a little threatened. And so that can also make us feel like we're unsettled. And that can all bring us to feeling resistance and the desire gets stronger to want to cling to the familiar. And that is what I think is really going on with change. I wonder if for a lot of us, if the challenge we're feeling is really about change or it's just all the secondary emotions it creates and all of the disruption and all of the new things we have to learn. I think it's about the emotional impact of all of that. And so navigating change will do that. It will trigger some emotions. It might trigger some sadness. It might trigger some excitement. And those emotional responses sometimes can be a little overwhelming. And so we have to be aware of how whatever the situation is, how that change is affecting us both mentally and physically. So as I mentioned, change happens in many different ways in many different parts of our life. When we experience change, let's say in a professional context, I think it's important for us to feel that we were comfortable enough to ask questions. So if something's changing within your organization, if something's changing within your job title uh, or job role, your responsibilities, if something is changing within the structure in which you're used to operating, is there someone there that can answer some questions to help you clarify what's going on? Because if you have more knowledge about why the change is necessary, will that help you to not just understand it, 
but to embrace it and then to get into the next steps, which is to figure it out. So that is important. I think also understanding that when change impacts more than one person, when it impacts a group, like in an organization, that can create sometimes some ripple effects because the resistance that one person feels can be transferred onto another. And I think that it starts to challenge people in terms of their comfort zones, and that can affect overall connectivity and even morale in the group. So if we experience change without a lot of data or information, that can leave us to sort of wonder and second guess. And I think it's important that if we are part of the implementation of the change that we take responsibility for giving those people around us information that will help them. And if we're on the other side of it, that we should feel comfortable enough to ask some questions and ask some things that will help us get clarity and also confidence about the change. Now, when the change is happening more internally around personal growth and you're feeling the changes that come with development, that is exciting. And that can lead us to a lot of opportunities. And it can also feel a little unsettling because stepping out into new skill sets and developing ourselves to the next level could also create some trepidation about stepping out of our comfort zones. And it could create some anxiety that might be positive or, or negative about the new experiences that we're going to be uh, creating for ourselves. So again, all of this change, wherever you're experiencing it, it's about just staying in curiosity, asking questions, and, and really, I think, talking to yourself about all of the positive benefits that change will bring. And when you're developing more of those skills and you're really looking to get to your next level, I think a big part of the change is also feeling confident that you're going to rise to the challenge. And we just have to have that belief in ourselves and in our ability and know that we can figure it out and that we can do things. Because with change, I think also comes some new creativity and innovation. And when we're faced with new challenges, whether it's individually or within the organization, we can sometimes get pushed into thinking differently and hopefully exploring new ideas, even exploring some unconventional solutions. And all of that creativity can definitely lead to some positive breakthroughs in terms of achievement. So not all change is overwhelming, whether you experience a positive or adverse feeling initially, it's important for us to know that everything changes. This world is always changing and growing and we should be too. And with change comes opportunity and we can look back on probably a lot of moments in our life where at the time, maybe we didn't really understand or see it, but now we can look back and say, ah, oh, I grew so much because of that change. And we just need to implement some strategies to help us navigate change. And that's what I wanna leave you with now. So I'm going to share a couple of strategies with you, probably, I don't know, maybe seven or eight that will help you navigate change. And the first one, which it always comes back to this one, my friend, it's to really be aware of how you're thinking, right? So the first one is adopt a positive mindset, because as we've said, when you can embrace change with a positive mindset, you can really equip yourself to handle it in a much smoother way. So it's important that you focus on the potential benefits and opportunities rather than any of the discomfort or drawbacks. If you could move into thinking about the positive outcomes that will come from this change, I think you will see how you will create a different filter on your thinking. And we know what we think about most is what becomes reality. And that's going to help you immensely. The second thing that will help you uh, create some strategies around change is to seek support. Don't go it alone. As I said, ask questions, get information, 
seek support from coworkers, your, your leadership, from friends, family, mentors, maybe even a professional network, because there will be people within your environment that might be a part of the change that can help you. But there are even people that you can reach out to in your network that have had their own experience with change and can provide you with some support or a different way of looking at it, some encouragement. And so I, I just want to say, you don't have to go it alone. Number three, stay flexible. Just stay flexible, be open-minded, understand that again, change is crucial for growth. And if we're willing to adapt, and if we're willing to try new things and explore new paths, then that leads us to some new potential. So just stay flexible. Number four, this is again, the strategies for navigating change. Number four, just stay focused and invested in your own education. Because when you make being learning based a priority and you're constantly learning new things and developing, you'll equip yourself with the skills and the knowledge needed to thrive in any environment, especially one in transition. So lifelong learning is a key component to successfully navigating change for sure. Now, number five, maintain a routine. Here's what's important to understand. Now, the routine might change a little bit. That doesn't mean you don't have a routine. It just means that, the, that what is in the routine could look different. And I understand that change can disrupt your routine, but you have to maintain some level of structure and you have to be able to rely on that structure to help you feel and, and have it provide some stability. And so establishing some new routines that align with your values and your goals and your circumstances will be really helpful. And again, it helps you to stay focused and productive during all the transition. And number six, practice self-care. Take care of yourself physically, take care of your mental well-being, engage in activities that reduce stress and promote relaxation so that you know that your self-care is going to help you to reset basically because change requires a lot of energy. And so you have to balance that out with being mindful around how you move your body, how you're able to dial it down at the end of a stressful day, how you are able to maintain your energy, how you're able to maintain some stamina. And that really does help you to really balance out all the things that come with a changing environment. To sum things up, I'm just gonna say navigating change is undoubtedly challenging. It, for all of us, even though those of us who feel that we embrace change really well or create change often in our lives, it's still, it's still stressful. Whenever something changes, there's adaption. And in the adaption, there's a period of discomfort or maybe even a little stress. I just, I want that to feel normal to you. I think that these strategies and these tips that we've talked about here though, can really help you look at it differently and transform the obstacles of change really into a stepping stone for more personal and professional advancement and success. When you embrace change with resilience and maintain an open mind, you'll discover a world of opportunity waiting for you and a world to explore all because of that thing that changed.